Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Google Spreadsheets is a free web-based application that's similar to Microsoft Excel. You can use it to create and edit spreadsheets for all kinds of projects, including contact lists, budgets, and just about anything else you can imagine. To get started, click the Create button, then choose Spreadsheet. Next, you might want to take a minute to explore the interface and learn your way around the different tools and features. Let's begin with the area above your spreadsheet. First, we have the toolbar, where you can access different shortcuts that let you work with your spreadsheet. This includes the print command, undo and redo, as well as options that let you control the cell format and font size. To view even more options, use the menus above the toolbar. These give you access to many of the same tools and features, but with a few additions. For example, under Insert, you can add charts, gadgets, and other special elements to your spreadsheet. In the upper left corner, you can navigate back to Google Drive. Or you can click here to change the title of your spreadsheet. This is one of the first things I do when I create a new file, so it's easier to find the file again in the future. You may have noticed that there's no Save button. That's because Google Spreadsheets uses an autosave feature, which automatically saves your file anytime you make a change. Finally, in the upper right corner, you'll find the Comments button and the Share button. These allow you to collaborate with other Google Drive users and quickly manage your sharing options. If you've used Microsoft Excel before, the rest of the interface should be familiar to you. There are cells, columns, and rows for your data, plus the formula bar for working with your data. Here you can enter text, formulas, and functions for the cell you have selected. Notice how what I'm typing here appears in my selected cell, C4. At the very bottom of the window, you have the ability to add additional sheets to your spreadsheet. This is useful if you have any related information that you want to keep together in the same file. To add a new sheet, click the plus button. To navigate between different sheets, just click the one you want. That covers the basics of Google Spreadsheets. Now that you know your way around, you can start using Google Drive to create and store spreadsheets of your own.